my first day of algebra class. Will you help me get to class? Great! In order to get to class, I need a map. Where's the map? I'm the map. First we go to Exponent Forest. Vortex of Power Rules. <coughs> algebra class. Exponent Forest. Vortex of Power Rules. Algebra class. We need to find the exponent forest. What's that noise? Oh, it's just boots. Oh, I want to help you go to algebra class. Great. Where's the exponent forest? It's right behind us. Oh. Dora, we're lost in the exponent forest. Help us answer these questions in order to get out. A to the zero power means that any number to the zero power equals one. For example, two to the zero equals one. Now help us get over the log by answering this question. Four to the zero power equals... That's right, one. Dora, we're lost again. A to the negative n power is any number with a negative exponent gets moved to the denominator and one gets added to the numerator. For example, b to the negative second is one over positive b to the second. Now it's your turn. What is x to the negative third? Correct, it's one over x to the third. of the power is a rule where if the base is the same, you add the exponents. For example, b to the second times b to the third is b to the fifth. Now it's your turn. What's x to the third times x to the fifth? Yes, it's x to the eighth. Good job. Power of a product is the rule where you distribute the exponent. For example, x, y in parentheses to the third is x to the third, y to the third. Help us get over this tiny log. What is parentheses, x, y, parentheses close, to the fifth? Yes, it's x to the fifth and y to the fifth. I'm Manny, and I have my pencil and paper for algebra class. Hi, Manny. Oh no! Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! That doesn't work anymore, kids. Let me ask you some questions, and, and then I'll go away. Okay, kids. Well, the first question is, what's the power of a power? A power of a power is when you multiply the two exponents. For example, a to the second in parentheses to the third is a to the sixth. It's your turn, Thomas. Your question is, what is a to the fourth? in parentheses to the fifth. Wrong. It's a to the twentieth. For your next question, children, what is the quotient of a power? Mm. If the base is the same, subtract the exponents. For example, b to the third over b to the second is b to the first. Your turn, Kyle. Mm. What is x to the fifth over x to the third? Mm. Oh, you smart cookie. Mm, it's x to the second. Mm, yeah. <laughs> For your next question, children, mm, what is the power of a quotient? It's when you distribute the exponent. For example, x over y to the second is x to the second over y to the second. Kenna, put down your book. It's your turn. Mm, your question is, what is x over y, parentheses, to the fifth? 
Wrong! It's x to the fifth over y to the fifth. Your children got the answers correct. Mm, but I don't like you. So I'm taking your stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We're stuck in the power term vortex. Help us get out by answering these questions. A power is anything with a base and an exponent. For example, x to the second is a power. Which one of these is a power? That's right, 2 to the fifth. An exponent shows how many times that the base is multiplied by itself. In b to the second, 2 is the exponent. Which one of these is an exponent? Yeah. It's a 2. A base is a number that's being multiplied by itself. For example, in x to the second, x is the base. Which one of these is a base? That's right, it's the 3. Exponential form is a number written using exponents. For example, a to the second, b to the second. Which one is in exponential form? That's right, this one. Scientific notation is an easier way to write either really big numbers or really small numbers. For example, 100 written in scientific notation is 1 times 10 to the second power. Which one is in scientific notation? This one. We did it! We made it to algebra class! Con los terroristas